We back. It starts off with the cops getting shot at, and I still don't understand why criminals will commit crimes in these type of cities. It's soups and corners looking like Peter Griffin ready to break your back like Bane. Like, look, even though it's his wedding day, Mr. Incredible's still on demon time. Bro's itching. He can't operate unless he puts a criminal in the hospital. But here comes some old lady standing in the way talking about her cat. Like, ma'am, it's innocent people dying. This cat is irrelevant. I would've just ran her ass over and called it collateral damage. This fanboy come in the car talking about cleared, ready for takeoff. Mr. Incredible looked at him like he was a disgrace. He simply said, get the hell out my car. He rolled up on another robber, but Elastigirl already beat him to the punch. They're both some tweakers. Won't a day go by without putting a criminal in a coma. For some reason, this turned Mr. Incredible on. Bro took one look at her in that suit and was trying to blow her back out. He's over here trying to get jiggy while a man has lost all his motor control. Bro's brain is a pile of mush. Right in the middle of bro trying to see Jesus, Mr. Incredible swoops in to save him. I ain't gonna lie, I would've sued him too. Like, bro, clearly I don't want to be here. I had full control over my actions. Put me back on that ledge. Even if you save him, they just gonna have bro in Arkham Asylum playing bingo with Joker and Two-Face. Incredible Boy comes in messing up everything, bro. Like, who are you? Nobody cares about your rocket boots. Put that trash away. Bro single-handedly ruined the entire superhero game. He's a trendsetter. Because of that, now Mr. Incredible is your average Joe. He's out here denying people's claims just because he's bored all this lady was trying to do was give her grandson allowance helen calls him talking about we're officially moved in look at my boy he's depressed he's getting yelled at by someone who's cosplaying as ant-man the last thing he wants to hear is you calling about bullshit I mean, just look at the car that got bro in. This is disrespectful. No wonder bro's life is on autopilot. He has nothing to look forward to. The only reason he wakes up is to see what powers Jack-Jack gonna get. Because I'm telling you, these other two were failed experiments. She did if we were having Tony Loaf. That's it! Hey. It's time for them boys to relive the glory days. But of course things get risky because these two are complete dickheads. They get caught by a cop and Frozone decides to put this dad through hell. Bro's gotta get every limb amputated. Frozone just started bro's villain arc. Bob's back at his miserable 9 to 5. But here comes Shifu little bro trying as hard as to see jesus i mean look at bro he's no taller than the chair he's sitting in i'm not respecting anything he's saying but for some reason he thought he was proving a point mr incredible couldn't do it no more he was tired of all that talking but there's no way bro's not dead and to be honest after seeing what him and frozone have done i'm starting to realize these niggas are not heroes after getting fired mr incredible gets a call to action and bro couldn't resist i told y'all bob was a fiend but come on though look at how he's built i get what his wife's talking about like bro go home he's got a full beer belly still trying to fight crime he looks like he's working a double and count surfing at the same time he's half dead just running to the thing how the hell is he gonna fight it he starts running but the robot hawks him down bros on the ropes drago's thinking about throwing in a towel but he reverses it and that throw alone almost snapped his back in half bro needs to plop right back in that chair because this superhero is not for you that is not mr incredible that is bob he needs to take his ass home because it doesn't matter he beat the robot this experience alone should have made him reconsider but instead he decides the best time to go through a training montage he's trying his best to put his family through hell he goes on another mission but this time it's to the grave because syndrome is not playing he took that incredible as personal mr incredible started spinning because you know he can't go like that he finds this computer and sees all his homies have been eliminated the score is 101 syndrome's hitters are not missing elastigirl starts pulling up trying to save her nigga but these two goof troops tag along thinking it's a game i promise you it's not because it's three heat seekers ready to put in work and syndrome's only excuse for doing all this is that mr incredible said he wanted to work alone okay elastigirl saves him but now dash and violet are on the run for their lives dash finds a way onto one of their planes and he's already taken a man's life before the age of 10. I've seen things that no man should ever witness. No man should ever endure. The family gets together and they start dishing out CTE left and right. But Syndrome comes in stopping all the nonsense. They was not finna get in the way of his plan. Bro's playing with people's lives like they're action figures. It's really his whole team. They're ruthless. He's talking about take a shot every time they run. Like, hold on, this is getting what? out of hand, my guy. They deserve all the brain damage Mr. Incredible's <laughs> giving them. Syndrome comes in thinking he's got all this under control. If this robot has killed every other super, what the hell did you think it was gonna do to you? These are the same rocket boosts from before. Nothing Things change about this nigga. These two pick now to start a fight. Like the entire city's at stake, and you're arguing about which street to take. This city's doomed. They're causing more property damage than the robots. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. I've never seen nothing so determined to take lives. Look at this nigga. Bro, this isn't the combine. But the fam works together and finally stops the robot and saves the day. But it's not over. Syndrome was spinning for kicks. Who was his parents? Because clearly he was gonna be a menace regardless. Mr. Incredible just gave him a reason. Jack Jack finally uses his powers and puts him to rest. Like he said, no capes. Like the video if you like the video leave a comment on what you want me to do next appreciate y'all i'm out